But you know, I, I, and I have to say that because of all the different kinds of dancing I did and because of all the different kind of training, I would get, go out and do summer stock jobs as well. And I did a musical called To Barich starring opposite, are you ready? Ginger Rogers. What? Ginger Rogers and I had a t Charleston number that we did that would bring down the house. <laughs> and we choreographed one encore and we got so much applause, we went into the wings and she said, let's go out and do another one. So what, uh, we kind of did the same one we did before, but we had an exit step where we do like hop, hop, flip the leg off like this and go mm. off stage. And then I would turn around, her arms would come out from the wings. I'd fall back into her arms like I was exhausted, you know, mm -hmm. and, she, and she'd pull me off the stage. So when we went back Classic. on for the next one, she said, you pull me off this time you know, pull me off the stage. So we worked it up to uh, <laughs> like about three encores. Wow. But I couldn't believe it. You know, there I was, this kid from the south side of Chicago, dancing in this incredible number with Ginger Rogers. Mm. Did you learn anything Dude. like from Ginger Rogers, like about the way she worked or her? She was very, dis her, she was very disciplined about what she did. And I'll never, secrets. <laughs> no, no secrets really. But I do remember when we were playing in Kansas City, in outdoor theater, 8,000 people. After we would do our number, she would walk behind the flats, behind the set in circles. Mm. She says, this is, you're like a racehorse after you do a number mm. like this. You got to come down. And she would walk, wow. walk, 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 walk. Mm. She was very gracious and we got along really, really well, thank God. Mm -hmm.